Hi, Deb Pervin here. Welcome to Tuesday Tweaks. This week we're going to talk about pricing. Pricing your products or your services. Is the price right? I love this show. The price is right. Everybody always knows exactly what things cost. But how do you know if your price is right? This is one of the things that always surprises my clients. This is a whale chart and one way to tell if your pricing is any good. So the blue dots are individual is the margin for all of the individual clients that you have, your top 20. And the pink uh, dots are cumulative. So you can see that the tail of the whale looks pretty good. Looks like you're making a good profit. But if you look at those individual clients, it's scary. 20% are not profitable at all. And 25% are profitable, which leaves 50% or more in the middle that are just break even, which is obviously why understanding your pricing is so critical. Because if you can move that break even guy up just a little bit, you're going to, all of those dollars are going to hit the bottom line. So, what are pricing procedures? So I like to look at your variable costs and double them. Now, can you actually do that? If you know what your fixed costs are, then you can add those and, and maybe then give yourself a profit. But if you double your variable costs, you're gonna do just great. Um, the way to know if that's too much is to do market research. Who else competes with you? What are they charging? Um, get a mystery shopper and send them out, find out. But that's a really good way to compare your products and your prices to your competitors. Another strategy is just to keep raising your prices till a client or a prospect says, no, that's ridiculous. But until then, just keep inching it up until you finally get a no. Now, another trick or another way to get a better margin on your products is to repackage it. And sometimes this is as simple as you've made improvements to your process or your systems, which then make you more efficient and cost effective for your clients. So that new product or, or, or operational efficiencies can be passed on as something new and repackaged. So think about that. Can you, can you um, make that something that your clients are willing to pay for because you're delivering faster or you're delivering a little better product? Now, sometimes we bundle all our products together and if you unbundle them, you can price them differently. Or if you bundle them together, you can price them differently and get a little margin. And then finally, think about maybe giving a payment plan or charging a recurring revenue number every month instead of a big dollar up front or get part of it up front and stretch it out in the back. That makes it a little more, uh, it makes it a little easier for your client to say yes. And finally, we have had inflation and those inflation pressures cause prices to increase. So you need to raise your prices if you didn't increase them last year. Absolutely. You need to raise them if your variable costs continue to go up. Even if you raise them last year, you might consider a little bit more. We're hearing inflation is coming down. But until then, your clients expect to have a price increase because of the inflation, so don't disappoint them. And then remember, finally, that all these price increases don't have to be the same. You can adjust a price for one client and something different for another, depending on where they are and how good they are. If they're making all their payments on time, maybe you don't raise it as much. If they're paying poorly, you might want to jack it up because you're their bank and you're sitting on receivables and you're not getting paid and that's costing you money. So lots of varieties here. The price is right. Make sure it is. I will see you next week. This is Deb Pervin. Have a great one.